Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install LibreOffice 6 on Ubuntu 6.4. This method will work on all Ubuntu based systems and it's also easy ways to install it on basically all Linux systems and Windows and Mac, all platforms. So we're going to go to download LibreOffice and as you will see it's, uh, it's right here. You can choose your package you want because I got a 64 bit Ubuntu system, I will take this one. If you have a 32-bit system, take this one. It's just 86. So, then we click download. And then you can either make a donation, which would be fantastic for them. Or you can just download it. Absolutely free. There's also a PPA available for Lumber Office, which soon will receive the latest version of LibreOffice. You will always be up to date with the latest fresh release of LibreOffice. So if you want that, you can just go to the site here and add this PPA to your system. It's not yet available for LibreOffice 6.00, but it should be there very in the next day or so. So this is always a great way to keep you up to date of the latest version of LibreOffice, you just run this, you just add this command to your terminal, uh, run this command to update your repos and then run the normal upgrade of your system. So that's also an easy way. This method which I'm showing you now will just install LibreOffice 6 with your current version of LibreOffice, which is a wonderful way of testing it out, but the other one will replace your current version. So, yeah, that's also quite awesome. So as you can see, it's still downloading, and I'm going to fast forward this part while it just downloads to save some time. I will see you soon. Fantastic, as you can see, we just complete, we just completed the download and now we can just go to the place downloads where this package is saved and I'm going to close my browser now. Now we have to unzip this package. So extract here. And as you can see another package is here. Now we go into this package and go to tabs. As you can see, he has many dev packages, so we can't use a package manager like EDP to install it because we have to install them all at once. So, or, or it will be very difficult. So we, so we right click inside the directory where this package is, very important, and says open in terminal. Now we type in sudo dpkg slash i and then shift 8 to the get a start dot deb. So make sure that you are in this package. You can see the path to this package directory, which is the same as here. And press enter. Type your password. You will see nothing happens while typing, but it's just a security feature. And now it will install all these packages for us. So. If it doesn't work, then you must make sure you are in this directory when you click open in terminal. Very, very important. So as you can see, it's busy installing now. And I'm going to fast over this process and I will see you in a few seconds. Wonderful. As you can see, we are done. Now we can just close our terminal. We can you can remove these packages, you don't need them no longer. And now you can just go to your menu and type in LibreOffice. As you can see, you have two versions and many packages. It's not just as one. You type, if you go to LibreOffice 6, you will see there's many more, seven more results. So. They are all here. So we, I'm just going to open up any one of them. As you can see, you got a new launcher. 
tools, options. You can go to, I think it's view, automatic breeze, and they got this new theme elementary icon theme. And it looks so cool, eh? And then we can go to tools, options. So, this, so the default is still the same, but they got these new themes here. You can check them out. And also, if you want to enable the ribbon, it's still maybe unstable, but it's very stable. I don't know when it will become live. And then you go to view and say notebook bar. And you got a very beautiful release. I don't know why this is just a white button, but it looks great. It looks ideal actually. And good job. There's many new features in this release and you will find the release notes.